5. Uh, so Hive um, was created, like we mentioned, to load uh, structured data uh, on the on the Hadoop um, distributed file system. And it was developed by Facebook, and uh, today it is used for the majority of the Facebook jobs. So it's in a sense, it can be called a relational database because the data that is loaded is in a structured form similar to the way you have the, the regular relational databases. So it will create tables and schemas and we can link the tables together. Um, it does have its own query language, which is very similar to SQL, so we can issue SQL-like queries uh, with this language, with, um, with Hive, and it's called Hive Query Language. We can, it is easy to insert our own um, code in there if we want to, so if we want to write our own scripts, it has it's very easy to do that and so the things that it supports is uh, clustering complex data types and also table partitioning so with with time um, the tables have partitions so it defines SQL uh, like query language which is called the Hive QL. And it allows programmers to plug in custom macros and reducers into it. And the infrastructure that it uses is similar to a data warehouse. And it provides tools to enable easy uh, curing of the data. So the data model that it has it has tables, but it also has for so the tables is very similar to the tables in a, in a relational database. So we can use a um, create table pretty much like we do in SQL, and then give the table name and the. Um, uh, the names of the attributes and the uh, data types for them, let's say integer, big integer, string, or something else. Um, or we can make a comment, what is the, this page about? And then it has a partition. So the partitioning breaks table into separate files for, for each um, pair. Um, so, each table ha can have several partitions, but the tables is very similar to the relational tables. And each table has a corresponding directory on the uh, Hadoop distributed file system. And the data is serialized and stored as files within that directory. So each table will have its own directory on the, on the HDFS. It has default serialization built in, which supports compression. And the users can specify custom serialization, which is called SERD. So users can specify their own serialization schemes. The partitions, so each table, as we said, has a partition. And it's broken, it can be broken to several partitions. So the partition determines the distribution of data within subdirectories. So when we are so when you see here partition by date string and country string. So this table will have two partitions, one for the date and one for the country. So there will be two different folders 
for those. of those buckets is stored as a file in this partition in the partitions directory. So once we store the data like that we have created a table. Uh, the Hive query language allows us to run queries which is very similar to uh, the SQL queries. So let's say we, we created a table called page views and so this will say select star from the page views. In other words, select um, all the um, records in the page views where the page view date is bigger or equal to this date. Um, and is less than or equal to that date, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But this is just an example of query. And page views URL contains xyz.com. So we so this will return all the records that satisfy these properties. Now what I will do is instead of scanning the entire table it's only going to read the partition for this date because remember we created a separate partition for date. So that makes it operate uh, considerably faster than a regular um, a relational database would do. So remember we, we created a partition for, for date. So it's only going to look at the partition for that particular um, date right here. into a plan for execution and it will take the metadata operations and for example uh, when we created a table then the metadata for what is the attributes and what is the data types are there and then it will, this compiler will also use the HDFS optimization such as for the load function when we're loading the data in there So this optimization, it will find, let's say, the best logical plan. Uh, so if we have to combine multiple joins, then it's going to think how it will do that to reduce the number of MapReduce jobs that have to be used. Query that we can run. This is uh, showing aggregation and join. So select page uh, URL, uh, gender, and count by the distinct user ID from the table called page view. And we want to join with user on the user ID and then group. Group by 
to page URL and the gender. And we can say uh, for which date. So an example output will be produced. So this will be the, the objects that satisfy the security and we will, they will be inserted into a new, uh, into a new table. And so you, then we have to go and retrieve that table if we want to um, store the results out of this, of this uh, system. So just create another table to, to place the results in there. data so it does support that because over here we imported data which has rows and columns pretty much the relational format but if we have some text data or unstructured data then we can define our own um, uh, serialization parameters so for text and also audio video data or if we have the same structured data like an XML file So the good uh, the good things about this uh, this hive is that it's it's easy learning curve and it is transparent to the underlying map reviews so the programmer and the user don't see how it converts this into map reviews jobs so that's a good thing the partitions that it it um, it has uh, it creates. Um, are uh, speeding up the processing significantly in comparison if we didn't have these partitions. And then there's flexibility to uh, load data either from the local file system or from the Hadoop distributed file system uh, into these hive tables. So these are the good things about it. Some uh, things that can be improved, so extending the SQL query support. So for example, updating and deleting. Uh, it could improve um, the, statistic, the table statistics and metadata, if we want to retrieve that, it's not so, uh, so good. And then we need to explore method for multi-query optimization. Also, it could have better debugging and uh, better shell. So, what is uh, in comparison uh, if we compare Hive versus Fig? So, both of those are high-level language languages which work on top of the MapReduce framework and they can they can run together on the HDFS system uh, with MapReduce. Pig is the procedural language so for example A equals to load my data and Hive is declarative such as select star from, from some table. Pig is more uh, suited for ad hoc analysis, while Hive is a more of a reporting 